Okay, in Azure, I created already this VM, save some time. Uh, obviously the resource group, this VNet and this subnet. I also created the recovery vault and I created the resource group and these two VNets. Obviously you haven't created the VM because that's the whole idea of the lab. Here we'll be working with is our East US2 resource group, which is our target. Here is our resource group central where the VM lives that we want to replicate or copy slash move. And we created a, a vault, a recovery service vault that could go anywhere except the region where your source VM is. So I believe I placed it in our East US2 resource group. And there it is. Uh, if you never credit a, uh, a vault, it's really pretty simple. Just uh, go to create a resource. It's under the management tab, IT and management tools. And back up and site recovery. And it's going to ask you just for the resource group name, the vault name, what region you want it in. So that's all I did. So we're going to cancel out of this. Go to our vault. We're going to click on replicate. Give it a few seconds here. And here we go. Yes, we want to go to the Azure. Rest, uh, notice we could do Azure or on-prem. We want on Azure. Uh, source location is Central US. Resource manager type. Uh, other choice is classic, which no one uses classic anymore. Uh, and our resource group, the source, is Central Resource Group. Say OK. thinking about it looking for our virtual machines and there it is source VM and VNet1 say OK and here it uh, it tries to be intelligent but look at our target resource group it has AG central ASR we don't want that we want to customize. So we're going to go over to the east virtual network. It's going to be VNet2. And this 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 stuff is okay. Click on create target resources. Once we validate here, well, uh, next step uh, would be to be uh, click on enable replication while validating to save time on the video I'm going to click pause and now we're enabling replication for the VM this is going to take a, take a quite a bit of time here uh, if you click on replicated items when it is finished we should see our VM here so this could take anywhere from I'd say 25 minutes up to a few hours depending on how much you're replicating. So I'm going to uh, pause the video here and continue on once our uh, replication is completed. Okay, after about two hours, we can see on our screen we are healthy and protected. If we uh, 
click uh, here, we'll get some kind of a cool little figure below. It's kind of showing that our machine was go over to a uh, cache storage account and one managed disk is all in site recovery now. And you can see our little replication is uh, moving right along. Let's see, let's click here on table view, see what happens. There you go, healthy, 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 healthy. Uh, don't really get anything here. So we'll go back to diagram view. I think that's a little cooler. All right, so our next step in this is to click on test failover. So let's do that. Again, a lot like, so here we are. And we can choose the latest recovery point. I'm good with this default selection. And notice that we get this message. It's recommended that for a test failover, use a network different from production network. So I could go out and create another VNet. Uh, I'm not going to do that here, but easily could be done. So we're going to say OK. And I'm sure that's for uh, overburdening the network purposes. And there we go. This is going to take a while as well. So you know what that means. OK, it was well, about uh, 15, 20 minutes. And our failover was successful. So our next step here is to clean up the test failover. So uh, that's what we'll go ahead and do. That's going to take a little bit of time. Okay. Finally, we are ready to try our failover. And here's the magic button. Notice there's a check mark here to shut down the virtual machine and synchronize the latest data. We'll go ahead and do that. If you do not select this option, or you select this option and the attempt fails, the latest recovery point will be used. So we'll let this do its thing, and I'll say OK. Operation is in progress. Starting failover. And this will, should not take very long. I'm going to say maybe three or four minutes, but uh, we'll return when it's all complete. All right, we're back. And you just saw where it said fail over completed. And now commit it. Commit is highlighted or available. This is our final step. But before we click the commit uh, icon, let's go back to our resource group. And notice we have a brand new virtual machine. And look at the name. AG source. And that's in our target. So you were, it looks like we are successful. And you see we got some network going on. So let's go back to our vault. Replicated items. One thing to note, is our button here. So let's click on commit. 
are you sure you want to commit the virtual machine? Once you commit, you cannot change the recovery point of the virtual machine. Okay. And now we're committing the failover. Looks like it took about six minutes for the failover. And is our commit finished? And it looks like our commit is done as well. But there you have it. Moving a Azure VM from one region to the next. Thanks for joining and watching.